Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install Controllify so you can use your controller on Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search bar and search up a website called Modern. Like so. And once you entered, you should see modwinf.com. Simply click on modwinf. And now we're on the homepage for modwinf. Simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to mods. Now, simply click on search mods and type in controllify. Like so. And you should see controllify. Simply click on the name and now you're on the homepage for Controllify on Modwind and simply click versions and once you did this all you want to do is click game versions here and select the game version that you will be playing so for example if we want the latest version we just click on 1.2.4 for example and we have all the ones for 1.2.4 as we will be using fabric for this tutorial simply select the version that you want with fabric and click download now what you want to do is go to the version name and check for dependencies. And now that we are here, simply scroll down and we can see that we have two of them that we need to download and one optional one. So what we can do here is simply click on yet in other config lib and just like Controllify, we want to go to versions, game versions and select the version that we have downloaded for Controllify and we want to download the fabric one. Now, simply go back to the top left arrow and we want to go to Fabric API now. Just like the previous two mods, go on versions, game versions, the version that you have selected, and download this one, which has to be a release. You can use a beta if you have to, but preferably a release if you can. So, now that we have downloaded Fabric API, yet another config lib and controllify, all we need to do is get ourselves Fabric. And to get Fabric, you need to go to a new tab and search up a website called Fabric Minecraft. So Fabric Minecraft, like so. Now you should see fabricmc.net. Simply click on the link and you should see a blue download button. Click on it and click on download for Windows. Now you have Fabric Installer Fabric API, yet another config lib, and Controllify. All you have to do here is close your web browser and you want to open up your downloads folder in your file explorer. So once we're here, simply go to your downloads folder, which you might have a different one depending on your default settings, but you should see something like this. What you want to do here is simply double click Fabric Installer. You want to select your Minecraft version. We, we just have selected the latest one, so it is just this one. But if you have selected an older version, just click this and select it from the list. And click install. OK. And close. Now, open up your Minecraft launcher. And what you want to do here is wait a couple seconds, and then we'll be able to add the free mods to the mods folder. So, here we can see that we have Fabric Loader. Perfect. And simply go to the Installations tab. And now hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon that shows up. Now find the mods folder and double click it. Then go to your downloads folder, select and copy the three mods. Go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste. Now you have in your .minecraft mods folder, Fabric API, yet another config lib and controllify. So all you want to do here is simply go back to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure that fabric is here. If it is, click play. Okay, so here we have here control five native library. Do you want to download them? We can just do yes or no. We can do yes. And it just automatically downloads all the required files for that. And now you have Minecraft Java with Controllify. So what you want to do here is make sure that you have a controller plugged in 
because you will be able to use it for Minecraft Java. Now I don't have a controller, but it doesn't matter. There's only one thing you know here is if you can use a controller to move these icons here in all the settings, like so, you will be able to use them in Minecraft Java. It's awesome. So if we go to a single player world for example, we will be able to test that out. So here we have a normal world, doesn't change much, but when we do escape, options, and controls, here we have controller settings. Simply click on controller settings, and here it says no controls connected. If we go back to global settings here, we have a bunch of features that we can change for controllers specifically. As I said, I don't have a controller, but if you can select items from this list, for example, using a controller, so it'll be like this, like this, like this, like this, you will be able to see a controller here and then you'll be able to configure it. So yeah, that's the only other thing I cannot show you is actually connecting a controller, but the rest of this is completely fine. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to get controller five so you can play Minecraft Java with a controller in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.